Disunity has been identified as the biggest problem for any social system since its creation. That is why people have been trying to live together since the dawn of creation. So the name of living together is actually society. In our Bengali or Bangladeshi social system, petty personal interests and the temptation to suddenly gain leadership or power over others are the biggest obstacles to creating social bonds on a larger scale. So the leader is more than the organization. So Syed Waliola said, hat is more than sarsh. A flawed social system is not only a barrier to greater unity, but the fierce competition of self-interest that ensues is enough to tear any large society into hundreds of pieces. It is usually a lack of self-confidence coupled with a lack of education, respect, respect and dignity that can lead to a terrible addiction to outdoing others, which in literary terms is called a violent march. Every man can strive honestly and sincerely to enrich himself in society, the freedom that Almighty God has given us. That is why it is good to imitate others but it is never a good thing to be jealous of others or try to copy them. If I want, I can be inspired by the ideals of those who are doing good work in society and try to enrich the works by cooperating with them, or I can start such a good work myself. Competition to pull down those doing well without doing so is an example of a social barrier to progress. A class is preoccupied with their division and leadership. Bangladeshi community unity, at home or in the diaspora, has been proven time and again to be very fragmented. We already have countless clans. I urge the leaders of all clans to put aside their personal interests and bring all diaspora and Bangladeshi Americans under one umbrella. Now is the time for you to make an effort to come. Then it will be much easier for us, with a united voice, to bring our moral demands to the attention of the proper authorities. It should be remembered that the first requirement for unity is honesty, devotion, respect for others, brotherhood and egoism removed from the heart. No good man can have the moral strength to fetter the opinions of others for his own sake. Rather, it is wise to show one's respect and dignity to society and humanity by loving others at all times. It must be remembered that the coexistence of peace and prosperity strengthens tribal power along with social and human progress. Allah says and remember the favors that Allah has bestowed upon you, you were enemies to each other, then Allah made harmony in your hearts, so, now you are brothers to each other because of his grace, you were staying on the edge of a fire, then he freed you from it, this is how Allah reveals his signs so that you may be guided, Surah Al-Imran 103. Fraternity is the name of walking together with respect and manners without being a stickler for others. The problem with us Muslims is that we say one thing on the face and another behind the back in small groups. Backwards serve as a covert means for small clans to work with the big leadership for their own benefit. After staying busy all night with cards and alcohol and wearing a long juba to the Friday Juma prayer, the name of Mutaki is not Muslim, but Muslim or Muslim is an Arabic word, meaning self-willed, submissive. A Muslim is a person who submits his will to Allah in order to prohibit the commands of Allah. In social life, one can belong to one group. Real human love is to leave behind all small interests for the larger social interest and move society forward. It is not possible for all people to love people selflessly in the bonds of Maya, it is possible only for a small number of human beings. But the ultimate truth is that the pathfinders of truth are today utterly corrupted by the empire of lies. You also have a conscience. You must not knowingly support injustice. We must all return to Allah and give an account of truth and lies. We have to remember that there is nothing more beautiful in the world of God than truth. May Allah grant everyone a beautiful life with truth. 
In this article I have tried to refute the arguments for and against the construction of a prosperous and united society through true beautiful brotherhood and love in my Bangladesh and diaspora soil through which a strong Bangladeshi community can be formed in the country or diaspora, not against any party or tribe, rather my argument is for truth. Still, I hope for the forgiving brotherhood of your tender heart if I have hurt anyone in the slightest.